everyone welcome to my channel today we are doing four fun summer crafts let's get to it our first craft is message in the bottle the bottle I got from the dollar store um, it's fine I already had on hand you can also get it at the dollar store my little message is going inside of my bottle I can print that out from my printer um, and then I have a message in the bottle words that I printed on my Cricut um, we're just gonna clean up the bottle roll up the message put it in there and close it back up at our words and this craft will be done this is a quick and easy craft you will have fun doing it it was it took me like 10 minutes but it was fun I enjoyed it and it was quick and easy I used um, my weeding tool just to roll up the paper small enough to fit into the mouth of the bottle and then I use my twine to put a little bow on it that way I can make it like small enough to go inside the bottle see I measured it to make sure that it was like small enough to go in Once that's done, I close it up and as always, we always, always, always clean our glass before we add any vinyl to it. That way it can stick the way it's supposed to and um, it'll just look good and the, the bottle will look clear, not as foggy and it'll be clean. Okay, this craft is done. I hope you like it. It was quick. Let's move on to the next um, craft. Our next craft is a picture frame with seashells around it. Of course, we will um, start by taking our frame out of the plastic and then we're going to take off the back piece because we don't need that for now and we're going to clean up the frame. We're going to sand it down a little bit. That way um, the ink, well not the ink, I'm sorry, the paint can adhere to it because the frame was a little like a different material so I wanted to make sure that the paint was gonna actually get on the frame um, and I didn't want it to come off so I did sand it down so it can stick to it I am using my DIY paint that I got from Sammy um, a fellow youtuber her YouTube is unicorn dust designs um, this is the first time I am using this color um, this is called skeleton key um, by DIY paints I do like all her all colors her colors are really really nice and you really don't have to shake them. I'd shake them anyway, but um, this color was just, I don't know, I liked it. It was like a grayish blue color. I don't know. I think it just went great with, our, with, with what I was doing. Okay, so I've been doing a lot of crafts with my seashells that I got from Amazon. Everything in this video will be this will be listed in the description box below. So anything that you see on here will be listed on there for each craft that I am making today in this video. So these um, seashells I did from Amazon. I put them in place first, and then I used my glue gun to glue them all in place because I wanted to make sure that I did put them. And once I glued them, I did not want to pull them off. So. I did put them in place first and then I glued them one by one. Okay, another fun and easy craft done. Let's move to the next one. This craft is a sailboat. I wanted to make a sailboat and I had to look around and see what I was going to use for it. So I used an Easter egg wood piece that was at the dollar store 
and I just felt like it was the perfect thing to use for it. Um, I do end up using my little hooks and my small dowel stick that I found at the dollar store. That comes in a pack of, I don't know, maybe 12, um, but I've used them for various crafts um, in my videos. So I do sand the egg down before I do anything else and I do drill the holes, I put my little hooks on and I measure where everything is going to be before I paint anything off. Um, I do use two more DIY paints, they will also be listed in my description box below. Okay, once I put the holes in, drilled everything, I get my DIY paint ready. I'm not sure if I said the name right, but it's crinoline. Um, if you want to find this color, go into Sammy's page, Unicorn Dust Designs. She has all her paints on there. Um, so I use this one for the bottom. I'm also using the blue, um, I believe it's blue iris, also a DIY paint to add to paint the, um, the little egg to make my little silver. Okay, so I added the blue because I wanted to have another color on here. Now, I'm going to use DIY, um, the wax from the DIY collection that I have. Um, this actually makes it pop. So, I like the way it was looking um, before, but adding the wax on it just made it look a ton better. So, um, I'm putting the hooks back on so I can finish this craft. Okay, so I'm using my wood glue so I can put it in the hole. That way I can add my doll in there. Um, I did paint the doll, I just didn't add that into the video. But I did paint it the same colors that I have on the little egg to make the bottom of the sailboat. Um, and I also added the wax on there as well. Now this next um, part, this is a little bag that you get from the dollar store that you put like little favors in for parties, weddings, whatever it may be. I actually unstitched it, cut the little strings off of it, and that is what I use as the sail on the boat. Um, but yeah, I ended up cutting it into a triangle after I did that, so it actually looks really nice. <laughs> So here I am using the twine again that I used in the first video to make the strings that go up to hold the sail up. Um, don't know where this idea came from, it just, I saw something and it just hit me, but this was fun and easy just as well as my other class on this video. I think this little sailboat turned out really cute. Um, let's go to the next craft, fourth and last craft. For our fourth and final craft is our turtle bowl. I used um, 
this mold, this turtle mold that I use. Um, I got this on Amazon and we're going to use some of this air dry clay um, to put it on here. I did use some uh, cornstarch to put inside the mold so the clay won't stick. So that was actually really helpful when I was doing this. This was, it took a little time to do. Um, but I, I was determined to finish it because I really wanted to try this and I thought it would be really really cute for a summer um, craft so um, it was a bit time consuming the clay did take about I don't know I would say about two days to dry complete like I got the first half dry and then I have to flip it over um, so for it to dry on the other side but it did take some time to dry but after it was done um, I was happy with how it came out and I painted it and finished it up but you'll see that in the video um, but it was it was a pretty fun craft So I don't do the whole body. Once I start putting it in there, I only do um, the head, the two arms, the legs, and the tail because the bowl is what's going to be the body of the turtle. So this is the first time that I am using this clay um, and if you've seen my other videos you know that I'm very impatient when it comes to doing my crafts. So um, I did put the bowl on. I did use my E6000 on top of the clay to, to glue the bowl on um, so it can all dry together because that's just how my mind just works sometimes. So anyway, um, I did use my E6000. The clay was not completely dry um, but it actually... Um, worked out pretty good like it really did so uh, once that was all dry um, which took about two days um, I did start the paint Okay, it's been about 48 hours um, and the clay is completely dry so I'm going to clean the bowl around it um, because after I paint it I do paint a little bit of the bowl. Um, I do add two colors on here. I do add skeleton key and I add um, a little bit of the uh, crinoline on top of it um, because I wanted to bring out some of the, the design on the turtle. Um, after I'm done with that, I do add a little bit of the DIY wax just to let it like make it pop a little bit. Um, so this is pretty much completely done and um, like I'm just adding the wax on there. The purpose of having the bowl was to add um, something inside the bowl to have it bring out, like to bring it out a little bit more. So I did add some of these rocks. I got these rocks years ago at IKEA. Um, they have various colors, um, and then I added a little candle in the inside. You can basically put anything in here. Um, but this completes our craft. I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Until next time, bye.